This tutorial is going to be an outline of everything that comes with the Equid Premium widgets. First I'll show you what comes in the download. So when you purchase the widget, you're going to get six individual downloads. You're going to get a search widget, a navigation widget, a group of storefront widgets, a group of shopping cart widgets, and a group of add to cart widgets. You're also going to get a buttons coupon, and this will allow you to download anything inside the buttons category for free. To add the widgets to Muse, all you have to do is open the widget, and it will automatically import into the library. So we're going to start with the storefront widgets. So I'm going to drag the storefront and drop it onto the page. Okay, so with the way that the widget is currently set up, there are a total of seven widgets. You have the main storefront widget, then you have global, product grid, buttons, top of the store, text, and headers. The reason why the widget is split up like this rather than being all smashed into a single widget is because if there are any updates or are there are any bugs in any of the widgets, rather than making you update the entire widget, you only have to update the section where the feature was added or the bug was removed. So you're probably wondering why the widgets are grouped together in the way that they are, and the reason why I've grouped them together this way is because the three on the left, as well as the main storefront, so a total of four. So these four widgets are the ones that are absolutely necessary. At the very least, every storefront needs to have these four widgets. So I'll quickly run through what each of these four widgets do. The first one, the storefront, this one is where you're going to put your Equid Store ID, and it is going to be the one that you use to customize most of the font sizes and colors. And I'll put a link in the description that goes to a video that covers that more in depth, or again, you can click the icon that should have just appeared in the top right corner. Then the next of these four widgets is Global, and Global covers a wide range of features inside the store. The features inside Global cover a bunch of different specific sections of the store, but didn't have enough features for that specific section to warrant a unique widget. I did not have a tutorial for the Global widget yet, however when I do, I will put a link in the description and I'll make sure that an icon appears in the top right corner if the video becomes available. Product Grid refers to the section of the storefront where all the products are laid out. And I'm actually going to show you in a live site what this widget is customizing. Okay, so this is the section that the widget is customizing. And that includes each view. So the grid view, list view, and table view. So this is the widget that you'll use to customize the amount of products that appear in the list view, how many products appear in the table view, um, how many products appear in each column or row in the grid view. Um, this widget is also the widget that you'll use to customize any of the URLs. If you want to change the page that opened when a specific product or a specific category was clicked on, you're able to customize that in here. This widget also gives you the ability to customize the images in a cool way. It allows you to add a border radius to the images, so if you wanted to turn any of your square images into circular images, you can easily do that just by adding a border radius here. And I'll just show you real quick what that looks like. So now the square category images, and this also applies to the product images, the images are now made circular just by adding the border radius. Then the last of these four is buttons. This widget gives you a ton of customizations over your storefront's buttons. So in this first section, you're able to remove some of the buttons. This next section allows you to customize the button icons. If you want, you can just remove all of them, um, and you can remove the icons by toggling these off. If you leave them toggled on, each button has a bunch of different icon options available to match whatever the theme of your store is. This next section is the font, and this is the only other widget other than the main storefront widget that has a font customization section, and it's specifically for the buttons. So first, you have the font weight, and this will allow you to make the font bold, or you can make it thin for the buttons. Then for the size, you have two different sizing customizations, and that's because there are two different sizes of buttons inside the storefront. Next, you have dimensions, and dimensions allows you to customize the size of each button option. 
styling is basically going to give you complete control over the way that the button looks from the color of the text in the normal hover and active state to the color of the background, color of the border, and so on. Then the last section is plugins, and plugins allows you to change the URL that the back to store button takes you to. And that is it for the four mandatory widgets for the storefront. Next is Top of the Store. Top of the Store gives you control over Equid's automatic scrolling behavior, and I will put a link in the description that goes to a video that discusses that widget more in depth, or there should be a pop-up that shows up in the top right corner if you want to jump to it right now. The Top of the Storefront widget isn't necessary, but if you've experienced any frustration with the automatic scrolling of Equid, this widget will fix it for you. These last two widgets are more a matter of preference. Text will allow you to customize some of the default text inside the store if you are not a paid Equid user. However, if you are a paid Equid user, I highly recommend using the free Equid app that will allow you to customize all of the text inside the store. And you can access that app either by searching for it inside the App Store or you can actually just click right here. And it will take you to the storefront label editor. So if you do use this widget, just make sure that you remove the text widget from the storefront. And then the last widget you have is headers, and headers gives you more control over the header text of the store. 